Howdy tubers and footers. How is everybody doing today? Well, we were supposed to be in Nome today and our flight got canceled. There is a storm in Nome. It's the winter storm that's always there during the Iron Dog and it's pretty vicious. So they are also thinking of holding the, the racers another day before letting them out um, for safety reasons. Uh, so that's kind of up in the air with the race right now. So let's check in. I do hope you guys are all watching South Anchorage High School's YouTube channel and their live feeds because right now they have the Gnome Garage going on. So I will go ahead and share my screen and you guys can see a little bit of what's going on. Hey, good to see you, Sasquatch, Sasquatch Wizard Adirondacks. Christina Bell, good to see you. Thanks for joining. Uh, I can't talk today. Lisa Gray, yes, wrench time. I think Team 9 is um, wrenching right now. So that's Shane Barber's team. So that's pretty exciting. I'll just share my screen really quick quick and I hope my audio and everything is let me try and do this maybe it's better I don't know all right so let me present oh thank you <laughs> it's my gaming headset <laughs> yeah. awesome so I'm going to share the audio as well okay all right, boom, 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 here it comes. <laughs> Yay! We're in the matrix. All right, ready? Let's go take a look at the Iron Dog, latest Iron Dog news here. Um, as you can see, there's been quite a few articles written and put in here for you to go check out, which are, they've got some really good... Um, really good things to you know that they check in with the different racers and get their opinions on what's going on on the trail and stuff over here we see the race tracking and all the sleds are happily in the gnome garage nice and warm this is the only time during the race that these sleds are able to go into a warm garage with um pneumatic tools, et cetera, et cetera. So um, the teams get a 15 minute inspection and that is off the clock. And after that, they get to schedule their wrench time and however long they think they're gonna you know, need. And then they get it together. Some of the new things that they've added with the race is they are allowed to have two mechanics. So you have the racers and then two other mechanics. So that is a, a, a new addition. Um, they've tried it a few years and they, it's just stuck. So um, it's helpful for a lot of the racers. Back when Missy and I had to do it, that was not the case. Um, <laughs> yeah, so the only people that could work on your sled was the te your team and um, if you got any other racer. So that was it. Uh, a lot of changes over the years. Like when we did it, it was five days. Now it's eight days. You know, a lot of, a lot of changes. It's now more of a staged race where before the layover was a whole different strategy on its own. So they're, they're making all these changes to bring more sponsors in and allow for the media and the spectators to be able to watch. So it's helpful keeping these teams grouped up as they go through, the, through Alaska. All right, as you can see, um, this will not change while they're in Nome until they get their on the clock wrench times checked in. So this will not be adjusted and 
until all of that time has been figured out. If we go over to the Iron Dog Facebook, uh, <laughs> Facebook group, you can see here are those awesome gold pans that the expedition class were given today. Sadly, Barb was not able to make it to Nome. We, all of us, our flight was canceled. So none of us made it to Nome. So she wasn't there to present these. But as you can see, these come from the city of Nome and Team CC. So thank you, Team CC, for your dedication to the Iron Dog and the racers. Also, Barbara, there is Barbara, Kim, and Laura. They are the first and only women's team to finish the expedition class of the Iron Dog. So good on them, ladies. Good on them. All right. Here we've got the ladies team in Tokoyuk. This is really awesome. When uh, Missy and I uh, went door to door at Koyuk in the middle of the night, <laughs> uh, ha had a tour of Koyuk. So that's awesome. Let's see here. As you go down, there's lots of great pictures, awesome videos. Be sure to check out the page, join the group, and follow along with the race. It's a great way to keep up to date with the race. Also, as you can see, here is the streaming from South Anchorage High School. So be sure to check that out. We're going to flop over there. This is South Anchorage High School's YouTube cha channel. This is where you will see the live feeds. And right now, as you can see, I do not want to get a copyright strike, so I am not going to click on this. But this is where you will go for your wrench sessions and all of the other streaming that is going on with the Iron Dog right now. So let me just go back to here. Howdy, everybody. How How's everybody doing? So... Hiya, Gary Spike Sr., good to see you. Uncle Bones, too, good to see you. Yeah, kind of a bummer. Actually, it's a real big bummer. I was looking forward to it. Uh, but that's what happens during the Iron Dog at um, the, the weather. Hi, Gene Hudson, good to see you. Oh, yeah, see the Iron Dog swag? Be sure to... Go to Iron Dog and get you some swag. Oh, and they have their uh, awesome cups, too. Mm. They do have a bright orange uh, water bottle as well. I do not want to take up a lot of the time. Um, oh, sorry, Jean. Our flight to Nome was canceled, so we are still in Anchorage. We will not be going to Nome, so we were not at the banquet today and at the garage, so mm. here we are, but, you know, we're, we're going to make the best out of it. It's probably best. My, my body is <laughs> not real thrilled with me right now, so if you guys would like, um, we could cut the cut the feed now I just wanted to give you guys a quick update or I could go through and finish uh, try and read some more of the rules real quick and get you through uh, through some of that but the teams are in the garage right now and you can watch them wrenching away and I would love to be able to uh, co-stream that so you guys can see uh, how that you know, so I could kind of walk you through what the teams are doing right now. Um, yeah, that would be fun. So um, I've been watching most of the teams working away. There's a lot of shock replacements, a lot of, you know, suspensions, you know, getting pulled and all of that stuff being run through. And, you know, belts, of course, being changed. I'm not sure if I've seen any tracks changed. That used to be a thing in the Iron Dog is having to train, change your track uh, 
there in Nome or before um, or after. That was part of the race too. So the sleds themselves, this is, this is one of the races where these different manufacturers, manufacturers have the teams in there for a, a sound reason because they're tuning and testing a lot of their equipment for the year. And what was great was like the year that Missy and I ran, Flying Brian from uh, Arctic Cat came up and raced with um, Scott Davis. And that gave him the ability to understand what these snow machines provide for Alaskans because they're, they're through be between village to village. You're, there's nothing out there. There's no gas stations. There's nowhere to go for help. And so they rely on those machines to be able to get them through from place to place and not break down. And like he said, when he was sitting there and Scott was just leaving him in the distance as his sled burned down out there, you know, he was like, oh my gosh, that sinking feeling. And, you know, that's why those manufacturers are able to step up their performance every year is because they have different racers out in these kind of conditions doing the art, you know, the research and all of that with these sleds. So the Iron Dog is definitely one of those races where the manufacturers have a close eye on it. And, and a lot of the changes come from the Iron Dog. So as you can see, these sleds are lasting longer. They're not, you know, the certain pieces and parts are not breaking down as easily as quickly. You know, the idea for these manufacturers is to try to get those sleds through that whole grueling race with minimal work. And, you know, those, those teams put them through their pace. So it's, it's a challenge on all ends. And that's part of the iron dog is that the racers are able to keep their sleds in good working order for that whole entire time. And so not only their sleds, but themselves. And so, and their gear, and all of that that goes into it. So it's a pretty awesome uh, thing to be a part of. I hope you guys are enjoying the Iron Dog as much as I am. I think that the teams will be working throughout most of the day. So I could come back tonight and go through more of the rules. Um, we are on page 11 of the race rules and we are getting into the disciplinary committee sections. So if that's something you guys are interested in, I will love to do that and carry that on because as, as you go further into the rules, you'll find out um, all the different uh, driver requirements and things like that and the snowmobile requirements and the race course. And we'll get in, which will be helpful as they head southbound. So when they go southbound, they will not be doing that Kotzebue loop. The Kotzebue loop is only going northbound. So a couple of things. I believe that um, the women's team, Team 16, Ashley and Hillary, are the first women's team to do the Kotzebue loop. So congratulations to them. Bravo, ladies. And they are running a clean race so far. Everything looks really good. Um, I caught their wrench time and their sleds look clean. Minimal work. So that's really good to see. So they're they're probably going to bring it on home. So I'm, I'm excited for them. Uh, all the other teams look really good. I am... Um, <laughs> Lisa, pay attention. There will be a pop quiz. <laughs> You're awesome. So, yeah, I really look forward to seeing the rest of the teams get through the garage. I know uh, Team Barber, Team 9 is always fun to watch. Team 7, great team to watch. Oh, my gosh. They are amazing when they get to their uh, working on their sleds and stuff. So all of this is great entertainment. Um, 
it's basically like the NASCAR pits on steroids, you know, because everything they do is on the clock and that adds to their race time. So they do not want to fiddly fart around. They are not wasting any time when they, they're like, wait, 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 when they go time and they are on and they're (laughs) wrenching away. And then before you know it, whoo, time and they're done. And it's, it's pretty awesome. So when you watch some of them do, you know, less than seven minutes worth of wrench time in Gnome Garage, you know, they're doing really good. So that's pretty awesome. Really fun to see. It's really neat also to see the damage that some of the different sleds take. And then you can see what the trail conditions are like. So this year they got a lot of snow. So those sleds aren't as broken and beat up and abused as many years past. So a lot of times you'll see when there's not a lot of snow, when those sleds come into Nome, there is like straps, bungee cords, duct tape, everything holding them together as much as possible. And this is where, you know, their MacGyver skills come into come into play. So it's really exciting. I think it's a lot of fun. So I, I really do hope that you guys are enjoying Iron Dog as much as I am. And I look forward to bringing you more updates and checking in with the teams and seeing what's going on. So again, I'll come back when they're not in the garage wrenching because this is some of my favorite part of Iron Dog. So, (laughs) and I do not want to get a copyright strike. So I do not want to, I can't share it. So I really apologize. That was one of the things I was really looking forward to doing was doing a kind of like co-stream, but We'll see what we get figured out. And uh, I don't know. We're just going to go at the seat of our pants and see what see what we got. But you know what we do have? We got our Chewbacca Pez. <laughs> I, I do still have my Chewbacca Pez. And I got all my goodies. So as they start heading south, that's where it gets really intense. So... I'm, I'm glad you guys are all along with me for this wonderful ride and this amazing journey for the 2023 Iron Dog. So thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much. I really appreciate having all of you along. Sincerely. It, it's awesome. So I will be back later on. Many of you may be asleep. That's okay. When you catch it on the replay, that's fine too. Whenever you catch it, I appreciate having you here and joining me on this, on this journey, and making memories. So thank you guys. All right, Iron Dog are out. We'll see you soon. Go check the Gnome Garage. See you guys.